Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Blatt and welcome back to the South Park Fracture Butthole Let's Play. And last time we fought the Freedom Pals, uh, got ourselves a third power, the Assassin, and we got a new costume, a little bit. I mean the helmets, I think the helmets like a mainstay for the character, but now we have to go to the Coon Lair. Oop. Actually, I don't know what this sounds like. $1,000. Huh. <laughs> All right. Uh. Get. Scramble fast. Captain Diabetes. There you are. Jesus took you long enough. Have a seat, Butt Lord. All right, everyone. Butt Lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store in here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U store entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava. Shit! There has to be a way to get past it. There is... Tool Shed. Tool Shed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Tool Shed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and Tool Shed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Well, looks like you're gonna come in handy again, butt lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to Tool Shed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor returned. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store in tonight. To bed, everybody! Coon friends are on the case. Go on home, butt lord. If all goes according to plan, Tool Shed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Tool Shed is a two-faced, backstabbing butt sniffer. Yep. <clears throat> so now we get to go to bed. Yay. This is, like, really interesting, the amount of time that it, like... I don't know. The day and night cycle over the course of like how long you could be playing. I mean like over the course of like a day, it could be like three episodes. <laughs> three twenty minute episodes. It's like an hour in the day for a day, and then it's like I don't know. That's really interesting. And parents are going at it again. Eat a not very Appetizing looking meatloaf and mashed potatoes and gravy and I don't know what is that mac and cheese or I don't know what that is the yellow Why would you tell the school principal what race we are? I didn't tell him our child did but you confirmed it when the principal called you how long before they find out everything our child is confused, don't you get it? First asking the counselor about sexual orientation, then talking to the principal about race? Confusion was the point! The more our child learns about the truth, the more dangerous it becomes, you stupid whore! Uh, hey, look who's here. Been out playing, little squirt? <laughs> Your dinner is on the table, pumpkin, then straight to bed. You have school tomorrow. <laughs> school tomorrow. <laughs> I just realized I don't know if the parents change Whatever's in these things are making you crazy Crazy like if telling the world Your parents you change childish, ethnicity based on like so what you determine that you are I don't know why I'm like just kind of thinking that I think I might have noticed that in my first playthrough but I don't know Hey kiddo, listen, I know we never talked about it, but your mother and I are very proud Americans. Night night, punk. I don't think I've brought it up before. Night falls upon the town like a fat, slimy turd. The stink of greed, corruption, and crime rises from the gutters and fills the streets. Only one thing can deal with fat turds. Cooning friends. Hashtag fuck I don't know if I've ever brought it up before, but like... I don't know why. It's really kind of weird that it's like... Um... Like when the parents like go in and say goodnight, like just the daddy said punk and it's like... That's what my... That's what my parents call me. I mean, not so much now when I'm a young adult, but like when I was a kid or sometimes even now, but it's like... Really kind of weird how it's like, it comes full circle and I was like really creeped out when I first play this game and they were using that like I'm just like what the hell <laughs> all right 
right, so we got one key. There's the other one. And we need one more. Oh, hi, Dad. Not on my watch, damn it. Meet again, new kid. I have yeah. to put our petty differences aside. There's something happening to this city, and it needs tool shed. Well, follow me to Professor Chaos's lair. You'll probably want to know about my superhero backstory. You see, when I was just a child, my father was in the garage working on a project. There was a huge storm, and lightning blew my father off his workbench. I ran to help him, but at that moment, another blast somehow fused his power tools onto my body. I became a superhero, while my father was left mentally impaired. There you go, you fucking Speaking bitch. of which. Why don't you, why don't you just, just take a shit in your face? Take this, you dumb whore. Randy, get in here right now and stop keying my car. Okay. But this is different. My father's acting even stupider than ever before. Perhaps Toolshed wants to help his father because he feels he could have saved him all those years ago. And there's drunk people. <clears throat> What is your backstory? Did something happen with your parents too? Yeah, my dad fucked my mom. That's okay if you don't want to talk about it. It must be very painful. Um, yeah. This is the home of Mysterion. He has a shortcut to the north of town. area you might notice the intense urine smell did you know human urine works as a fertilizer for marijuana cultivation smells like somebody cultivated on that couch <laughs> okay <clears throat> tool based one liners in the world, you know? <laughs> We're gonna turn the screws on these guys. How's that? I'll workshop it later. Now we gotta fight these bums because who knows why. <clears throat> Boom. 
<laughs> but Lord wrecked them. Wrecked, as in, you know, get wrecked and then wrecked them because it's your butt. <clears throat> okay. I don't, I don't know why I just noticed that. I'm like, oh, that's kind of punny. generator nearby I can use my dad's sand blaster to clear almost any obstacle wow that is fantastic that's got it Coon and friends let's go let's get one thing straight shed I don't trust you you make one move out of line and I'll shred you I'm only here for the new kid fat ass after tonight we're sworn enemies again all right classy said the cats all go to one of these storage facilities everyone fan out here kitty here kitty 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 yeah, kitty, 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 meow, meow. <laughs> Just Craig's monotone, kitty, kitty, meow, meow. Kitty, 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 kitty. I, I can't see, Toolshed. I need more. I don't think there is anything else in here. Okay. <clears throat> I thought being a kite meant you could fly? Not not all the time. And I thought being a What'd you find? Chaos. <laughs> Hello, Coon friends. Coon and friends, come into my parlor. I've bought more tinfoil and more minions than you can possibly fathom. I've been given twenty thousand dollars to keep nosy people away from this place. What? Twenty thousand just to keep people from snooping around. But I only need a few hundred for that. So you know what I'm gonna do with all the rest? Go to Paris to get a Pete Allen house bit and fuck French chicks. Super Craig. Wrong. I'm going to destroy this town and prove that I'm the bad guy, not this new kingpin jerkhead. So long, coon friends. Minions? No minions, you gotta kill them. Ah, oh, dang it. God damn it. All right, let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. Welcome to my lair of unspeakable chaos and horror. Wait, did we go in here? Or no, we go. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> here, kitty kitty. Oh, hey, dude. <laughs> You'll never make it through my impenetrable fortress. That's what you think. Don't forget that I have cool powers too. 
You made it through that part? <laughs> If I keep, no, I keep mosquito. But do I? I could keep. Eh, I'll take Carmen. That's fine. What am I doing? There we go. Beware the harbingers of randomness. This, are, this episode's gonna go a little long. I forgot to double my turn. Oh well. That one, I'm like, oh, there's only one left. Nope. Gee whiz, guys, that was really mean. Stand back. I'm about to tool with chaos. Double screw. Yeah. You will never underestimate a mosquito bite again. Or it might not go very long. Or not. But what now? With all my new funding, I found an even greater source of minions. All who are willing to work for extremely reasonable salaries. Vomitos, minions. Destroy the coon friend. Coon and friend. All right, boys, we can't just sit here and let him keep messing up our team name. It's Coon Tan. We have minions. I got you, say. Wait, why are the bigger ones with more armor weaker than the other ones? What the hell? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. Actually, can I get to this guy? I can, ooh, can I? Oh no, I'm just short. Dang it.
Disgusting Americanos. Tool Shed versus Chaos Minions. Fight! Yeah, heck, let's show uh, to a shed's alt. Because I don't remember it a whole lot. Ah. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot then. <laughs> oh well. Uh oh. I hope that really hurt, Coon. Come down here and face us, you fucking pussy. You ready to be sucked, minion? Bug bite. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of minions. Por qué estamos golpeando los niños blancos? Yes, yes, pick up the power tool. Avert your eyes, children. The Coon is about to get into some adult situations. Ah, dang it, I really messed that up. Es mucho más seguro ser un seguidor. Yeah, I really messed that up. Lo mejor es que pague por las horas extra. Ah, dang it. Oh, no. You answer to his friends, right guys? You're in my thoughts and prayers, Coon. Go, butthole! Oh yeah, heck, let's oh I can't do it again. Dang it. Uh crap. <laughs> can't do anything. Uh Cartman needs healing. Let's mm, I don't wanna use Moses. I don't have like any snacks. I can feel the chaos in you. Join me. Crap. Well, it's in my turn then. Or wait, can I get? Oh shoot! So say, I wish I could get a. Oh, I, oh, never mind. I got this. I was gonna do this for um, mosquitoes ult, but I already missed my chance with him. He's still alive. Why? There, now he's gonna die. Okay, so that's that fight. I'm going to end this here because I know I'm going to be running out of time. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and stay in tune with this Let's Play. And if there's any other future content, make sure to drop a or subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.